Now the last math operator that we're going to go through is called the modulus, and that is signified with a percent sign. Spell it like that, but it's a it's a unique math operator because it basically displays the remainder, the value of the remainder, given that two two values are divided out. So we're going to go to into a quick example here. Establish, declare, and initialize a few variables. So we'll set a is equal to 21, and you'll see that I'm just going to do this in one line, in one uh, declaration here. And just another way that you guys can do it. We're going to set b equal to 7, and we'll set c equal to 10. We're also going to set up a result variable here, and what we're going to start off doing is printing out a modulus function here, modulus function, and in this case, well I forgot my result here, we'll set a, the modulus of a to b in this case. So if we were to take 21, divide it out by 7, you'll see that our result in this case should be 0, because there's no remainder when you divide 21 by 7, it's a flat 3. So that's what our result should be. So we're just going to print this to the screen. And what I'm going to do to signify the percent sign, if you do two percent signs, it knows to only put the modulus sign or percent sign. It knows that you want the percent sign and you're not calling a, a, a variable of any type or data type. So a to b is equal to, and this is what we're going to do, percent i to pull the, the results value there. And we'll put a line break in there as well. So we're going to pull that result. We're going to copy this and we're going to do one other example here as far as the modulus goes. Copy that, paste it in there, and now we're going to take A to C. So replace that so we see what it looks like on the screen. So essentially we're taking 21 and we're dividing it by 10, which you guys know is going to be 2 with a remainder of 1. So in this case our, our modulus is going to return a result of 1. And so let's double check that we did it. Let's run our program and see what we got. So exactly as stated, we've got a, the modulus of a divided by b showing the remainder of 0, which is exactly what we, we anticipated, and a to c with the remainder of 1. So that's kind of a unique feature. It's used in uh, some different applications that we'll get into later. Just have a, a basic understanding of the modulus, and uh, you guys will be set for the future tutorials. All right, we'll catch you guys later.